What's good? New day, new goals. Let's own it. It's your boy GA, and we have a new episode of Leaders Create Leaders. Today, we're going to be meeting up with my homie, Chris Stoikos, the founder of the Dollar Beard Club. You probably, once you see Chris, you're probably going to recognize him because he has one of the most viral videos ever that has helped his startup go in the past two years from zero in idea to over $24 million in sales. But before we get into that whole story and we get into his proven strategy on how to create a viral video, which is gonna be super, super valuable for all y'all, we're gonna get into about how to really become present. So we're gonna kick this episode off with some breathing exercises because he talks about how we all have anxiety, right? We've all faced it. I've definitely gone through it in my life. And then we go through not just anxiety about worrying about the past, but then we also go through worrying about the future. And then we're gonna go in, get into Chris's story about how he realized this, it was holding him back, and how he got rid of all of that so that he can really push forward and make his dreams come true and really start to be present and enjoy this unbelievable life that we all have. And let's get right to it, Chris Stoikos. As you guys are watching this today, try and practice something that a lot of us don't always tend to do, and that's to be present. And what that means is just, as you watch and as you take in the information, which is gonna be a lot of cool stuff, a lot of it's not, it's not opinion-based knowledge, it's truth-based knowledge that applies to everyone. So a really good way to be present is just to breathe. I know it's something we, we talk about and we're told since we're, we're kids, but when we're kids, we breathe deep into our bellies. And as we get older, everything's a lot of times it's in a rush, you know, go here, go there. And we forget to breathe consciously and it becomes an unconscious breath where you don't actually take it in. So when you can find that spot where you're still talking, you're still communicating, you're still moving around, but you're breathing, you'll feel a lot differently. So just start with uh, some deep into the nose and watch your stomach. Feel your stomach go out. You can even put a hand on your stomach as you feel it go out. Five simple breaths. It's game changer. You can go in through the nose, out through the mouth, or in through the nose, out through the nose. So dude, even as I'm, I'm doing that, a part of me is like, you know, hurry up on the breath. The content's gotta be quick, it's gotta be, it's gotta be flashy, people are here, we got time to tell, and it's like, when you realize that time is nothing more than our perception of time, we've all experienced that when we're kids, where uh, you go outside to play tag, or run around and play some sports, and uh, eight hours will go by, and it feels like two minutes went by. Yeah. It's just like, boom, like, what just happened? Yeah. And then I'm sure we've also all experienced when you're doing something you don't like, it feels like eight hours went by, and you're like, damn, only two minutes went by? So yeah. we're all experiencing our own versions of reality. Even as people are looking at us watching, they're seeing this same frame, but different people are gonna see different things depending on what your unconscious mind is looking for. So when you choose to see the things that are good in life and the beauty of it, you know, someone might look behind and see a curtain and it's rusty and they go, oh, that's reminding me of my rusty curtains back at my cottage when I was little. Somebody might look and say, oh, I love Gerard's bracelet or I like one of Chris's rings or man, look at those, uh, you know, these wicker furniture. So we'll all see different things in the frame that our mind is attracted to depending on like our past experiences and stuff. And when you can release past experiences, you could just be present with what you're actually watching. And it's cool, the, a lot of people talk about the present as a gift, yeah. and it is. But the actual like scientific explanation of the present and where the word is derived from is it's pre-sent. So the moments that we're experiencing right now were pre-sent from previous thoughts. You know, is the hustle real? Like, we're always trying to get more, to do more, and like, I'm all about the hustle. But like, are we sacrificing the most valuable currency that we have? I was in Australia and um, I was hanging out. I was actually in a conversation with uh, this awesome girl. And we were just talking about life, sitting across from each other. And 
I noticed that we were both kind of like looking at our phones and reaching for our phones. Oh. And I had like 400 unread text messages and every time I'd see it, I'd see that stupid number right there. I'd see all my emails and we're like trying to engage in this conversation but we're both being pulled. So other people's energies from outside of what we can see are coming in in the form of this digital text message through this ridiculous piece of metal technology. And I was like, how am I ever gonna get away from this? Like I just wanna trust that whatever's supposed to happen in life is supposed to happen. I grabbed my phone and I went, the intuition, my intuition said, throw your phone out the window. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh. Throw your phone out the window? Dude, I was like, <sighs> I literally got scared. I went, boom, and I chucked it out the window. <laughs> Five months ago now. The second I did that, something just went, Poof! it like cracked in me. And I was like, oh my God. And like, we continued the conversation and it just like flowed and I was like, I need to go outside. And I went outside and I went for a walk and I started walking around and just like looking at the different people, looking at the things, looking at my surroundings, looking at nature. And I was like, is there such thing as the hustle? Is there such thing as the grind? I was like, every second of my life, I always used to think, when am I gonna get there? When am I gonna get there? Okay, I need to have this status. I wanna have this car. I wanna have this house. I wanna have this business. All the things that we're taught to think. And I was like, does that even actually make me happy? Or is just being happy, like smiling and enjoying and accepting whatever comes to you. So that changed a lot. And it also came with the realization that our eyes are literally, this is a truth, this is not an opinion, they are projectors for the thoughts in our head. You close your eyes, open them. We are seeing every single thing that we've created right now. So your deepest unconscious thoughts and the things that you experience and the things that you see on a daily basis at every single moment at any given time or just projecting what's in your head. So when you can replace your thoughts with thoughts that serve you and take out the ones that are, you need to look a certain way, you need to do this, you need to be on the grind, you need to be on the hustle, you'll come to the moment. You'll have a clean slate in your head. And rather than waking up and trying to draw your day on a picture that's already been drawn or erasing and then redrawn, you'll always have a blank page. And you can do that by forms of thought purging. And when the page is blank, that's when the creativity comes in. Inferior ideas will always be pushed to the side by simply focusing on the moment. Because we just think all the time, I'm supposed to be here, I'm supposed to be there. Perfect ideas of sheer creation will come in like that. Yeah. And one major success, one big hit, one big anything can set you up for the rest of your life. Bearded mm -hmm. Brothers. I'm Chris, founder of DollarBeardClub.com. We heard that our Canadian neighbors have been jonesing for some beard gear. Well, the club has arrived, and we're gonna put clowns like Buddy over here in their place. The only blades this country uses are the ones you lace up. Starting at a buck a month, you can oil your beard, wax your stash, and brush those facial locks. Now that we're shipping our products up north, you can go back to tapping maple trees or fresh kegs with the boys. Keep on giving her. Using our beard oil on a consistent basis will help you grow a majestic mane. Just ask this guy. Nice beard, brother. Embodying your Canadian culture is a must. Your beard isn't just for the playoffs, it's for every damn day of the year. So if you see any shaving cream lying around, make sure you dispose of it properly. Our monthly beard box will transform your unruly face forest into a hardy hedge. Our all natural beard products look great, smell great, and they sure feel great. You know the drill. Keep your beard game strong and we'll take care of the rest. What are you waiting for? Join dogbeardclub.com. He's gonna go into what he calls the hero's journey. And we're gonna get into his habits, his daily routine, all things that you guys should implement into your life. Every single person has this thing called like a hero's journey. And it's the full circle of what you start, what you do to go out and learn, and then what you bring back. And when you can follow that and align it with the desires in your mind and the script that we wrote in our hearts as our soul before we incarnated into these bodies, that is, dude, that's the perfection. That's when life becomes fun. And there's no downtime, not like, oh, I'm excited to do this. Oh, but I have that appointment later today that I don't wanna do. If you don't wanna do something, don't do it. Everyone should live their life by two simple rules. Do what you want to do and do what you say you're gonna do. That's it.
It's literally as simple as that. It's like, oh no, it's not as simple as that. I have this, what are my parents gonna think? What are my friends gonna think? What's society gonna think? Dude, that's not you. Be you. Yeah. And when you can do that, you can find that place. I, I literally can't say it any other way than magic literally starts unfolding. You'll start attracting different things coming in, whether it's an email for an opportunity, whether it is a new job, whether you find yourself on the sidewalk in Venice Beach doing some art or playing some badass guitar and some dude walks by and goes, man, you're really talented because you're just following your bliss. Do you want to do this with me? But it's a lot of people don't trust. They don't trust in the flow. They don't trust what's going to come and they feel this need to set up security systems in their thoughts of, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to do that. Everything becomes this linear fashion and you don't just follow what you actually enjoy doing. He's totally living in the moment every day. He just lives life to the fullest. And that story of him just throwing out his throwing his phone out into the ocean, learning how to become present. And this is something that you guys need to learn how to do because we're constantly worrying, we're constantly trying to plan, trying to do things perfect. And the more that you start to trust yourself, trust your intuition, start to trust the universe, you're really, really gonna start to see how the law of attraction works and things start to really manifest into your life. When I was living the grind, living the hustle, go, 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 I had a few minor successes here and there, but I did not enjoy them. I was under stress, anxiety, depressed, popping Adderall, all these different things that, you know, society says do this, do this. And then when I changed everything, I was able to tie it into what I love doing and making tons of money while doing it and meeting amazing people while doing it. So one of the most important exercises anyone can ever do the second they wake up is write down your dreams. And your dreams can be a way of giving you premonitions from your intuition of how to act later that day. So first thing I do is always dream journal in the morning um, and then uh, breath work. Those things allow you to manifest powerfully, create powerfully. There's no such thing as work, it's creation. If you're calling stuff work, you're not doing something that you love. You need to be able to find something where your professional life is a perfect merge with your personal life. They all just flow into each other. They're not separate schedules. I just had a grand realization, brother, and that's that a man doesn't have to do anything to have a beard. He has to use something to not have a beard. Yeah, it's trying to come out of your face. And in fact, it's longer right now than before you started watching this. Stop fighting the waves. Start riding them. Join the club today. You need to sell people an experience. You're not just giving like a product. It's not just a simple trade. People want to be entertained. So we didn't look at creating our videos to be like, how do we heavily put our products into their hands? It's like, what does it feel like to be a member of Dollar Beard Club? Right. And be able to sell that vision, sell that feeling, sell that experience. And help us end beard oppression. Start growing and grooming your beard better than ever before. Go to dollarbeardclub.com. And we wanted to start making stuff that people can engage with, dude, and people feel good about. Yeah. So that's where I came up with uh, unconscious content to be able to teach people how to script viral videos and oh, came up wow. with a formula from start to finish of exactly how to do it and it's foolproof. You learn this formula, you can make a viral video on anything. So we're gonna get into how Chris created this Dollar Beard Club, how this company completely went from zero to $24 million in sales in just two years, and how he became the master of his proven formula, P-R-O-H-V-E-N, on how to create viral content. I'll tell you about the proven formula. To grab a patch of grass, their most important thing, Bagging the rays, taking in this absolute golden elixir of the sky. Oh, brother. And so PROVEN is an acronym. It stands for uh, Paterupt, Relatacult, Outcasquo, Humanicate, Villetician, Excitacate, and Neuroboarding. Uh, so you got the H in there, which spells PROVEN, P-R-O-H-V-E-N. And basically, dude, uh, I'll go through them quickly. A pattern up is a pattern interrupt in someone's mind. So we're used to seeing normal things all the time. But when you see something on your Facebook feed that's just absolutely 
you know, something you haven't seen before, like the squatty potty video, the poopery video. A lot of people don't talk about taking a shit in public, but those videos you see a unicorn taking a poop and the other one you see a girl taking a poop, that's a patter up to interrupt someone's normal way of thinking. R for relate occult is making a relational mindset to a cult formation. A lot of people have a negative connotation for the word cult, but all it actually means is an excessive admiration for a person or a thing. So you create that cult mindset where the users have the ability to relate to something bigger than they are and you use it in a positive way. My boss says beards are unprofessional. Choose beard life, brothers. I'm growing it. O is for outcast quo, and that's being an outcast of society while breaking the status quo. So when you can break the status quo of what's acceptable and you can kind of form a new movement, you know, be an outcast, people are naturally attracted to that. People, change is the only constant. So when you can make change and then show it in a cool way, people want to jump on board. Uh, H is for humanicate, and that's tying humor to educate, education. And how that works is everybody has an emotional safe, and if you say the right words, you can unlock their emotional safe when you gain somebody's trust. And we're gonna put clowns like Buddy over here in their place. The only blades this country uses are the ones you lace up. So when you open up their safe in the video by making them laugh, and then implementing the education while they're laughing as a bang bang within one scene, then later that night when they're going to bed, even if they didn't buy your product on the spot, they pair like, you know what they did today, I was talking about when you think when you're going to sleep, you're like, oh, I laughed today. And they don't realize that the laugh is tied to the unconscious product that you were telling them about in the education of the video, which makes them want to buy it later if they didn't buy it on the spot. V is for villetician. That means villainizing your competition. You know, you want to make fun and poke fun at the other guys out there. You've seen the Ke po Coke and Pepsi challenge, the Apple and Windows computers. You really want to say why you're better than your competitor because you need to be 90% better, nine times out of 10 better than a competitor in order to bring a, com uh, a current customer over to your platform. Uh, then the E is Excitacate. It's similar to Humanicate, except you sell them excitement and then educate them. So you're opening up their safe by exciting them. You know, what's this product gonna bring me? What kind of lifestyle is it gonna be? And as soon as they're going, oh, I can do this, boom, that's where you slip in the education. Our all natural beard products look great, smell great, and they sure feel great. And then the N is for neuroboarding, and that's using NLP, using words like free, you, guarantee, because people want to know answers why with these strong words that are paired in their unconscious mind. So that's where you create your call to action and say, imagine you having this product to change your life because it's going to do X, Y, and Z guaranteed. And when you can neuroboard them on using their unconscious mind and NLP for the neuro-linguistic processing, you increase your chances of closing them. So it's a whole formula. That's the, uh, the quick spiel on it. But when you download the entire proven method, you can script a video on anything. Severely increase your chances of something going viral, dude. I want to say shout out to Chris, my bearded brother, who's just absolutely killing it at life. If you guys, you should have learned, you know, it's all about being present, really getting to find yourself, you know, learning how to cut out all the noise, cut out all the anxiety, worrying about the future, and start worrying about the now, really appreciating time for what it is right now, stop trying to chase so much. And then, you know, Truly, look, in zero, in, from zero to 24 million in just two years using that proven method, you know, and these are just, these are the strategies that you can start to implement right now with your idea, with your business to really start to push your product. The truth of the matter is, is that content right now, that social currency right now, if you start to build it and understanding how to actually, you know, showcase your product with the right branding, with the right content, you know, that, that, that's like one of the most most proven ways for you to get exposure and to start building your community, start building trust, and really get your idea out there. Because otherwise, it's just an idea and nobody knows about it, right? So you need to understand these strategies. So shout out to Chris. If you guys wanna see the full on interview with everything else about Chris, his backstory, his strategies, you know, his just his life lessons. We're gonna have the full episode on founders.com. Make sure you guys engage with us below. I appreciate all of you for being a part of this community. Definitely become a founder, join our founders community as well. Head to F-O-W-N-D-E-R-S, founders.com to get all the exclusive content from all the great leaders that we've interviewed. And until next time, it's your boy GA. Peace. What's up guys, it's your boy Gerard Adams. I'm excited because December 9th and 10th is when we're doing our year-end event. Founders is partnering up with the one and only Eric.
Thomas, ET the Hip Hop Preacher. Do not want to miss this. You want to end your year right. Day one is all about taking ownership of your life. It's all about understanding what it takes to become a phenomenon, how to break through those habits, get clear on your vision, get clear on your wants, your needs, really get clear on those goals, get clear on that purpose, that why. Become possessed with that dream. But more importantly, learn how to put it into action and how to take ownership of your business. Day two is all about that. How to actually learn about the profit, how to understand small business versus big business, top line revenue versus bottom line revenue from someone who's went from zero to a hundred million dollars in revenue and then getting into the marketing tactics and strategies that are proven. Some of the best marketing strategies of 2017. We're going to teach you how to go from cold to warm to hot leads, become an expert at lead generation, build your funnel, and then learn how to convert your customers. Actually, very specifically, get into the strategies of how to become an expert at Facebook marketing and Instagram marketing. I can't wait to see you guys there. Newark, New Jersey, founders, take ownership, let's go.